But we begin this afternoon with the last night of freedom for former Macomb County Prosecutor Eric Smith after refusing to make a plea deal. Thank you for joining us for 7 Action News at 5. I'm Glenda Lewis. Tomorrow, Smith is expected to start his 21-month federal prison sentence after pleading guilty to obstruction of justice. He was caught on video telling people to lie to the feds while he was under investigation for embezzlement of drug and alcohol forfeiture funds. Smith was given time to make a plea deal with the state attorney general over 10 charges, including running a criminal enterprise. But tonight there's no deal and the judge is not happy. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner has been on this story from the very beginning and he's joining us live in Mount Clemens. Jim, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Glenda. The judge presiding over this case is visiting from Oakland County. As you said, she's not happy. She asked during a hearing this morning, there was a three month delay for Eric Smith to turn himself in so they could get a plea deal. She says they could have held a trial and tonight there's no resolution. I was told from the beginning of this case that there's going to be 90 days to surrender, but you're working on a resolution, working on a resolution. I could have just tried this case. In the three months that you're all working back and forth, so I don't know if this was always the plan that to delay this to the point of not trying it and now delaying it again while he actually serves a sentence. So I'm supposed to wait. Eric Smith worked in the Macomb County Prosecutor's Office since 1993, became the elected prosecutor starting in 2004. His defense attorney asking the judge to keep private where he's going to do his federal prison time. There is a concern that his known whereabouts to the public at large could be a, a safety issue for himself. Are you saying that the whereabouts of a federal prisoner, just like a state prisoner, is not part of public knowledge? That's the first I've heard of that. Eric Smith is accused of misusing some $600,000 in forfeiture funds over several years and kept them hidden in four off-book bank accounts. Three years ago, the state and feds raided his office of prosecutor and his home, including removing state-of-the-art surveillance cameras, among the many items paid for with those forfeiture funds. A plea deal would include restitution, how much Smith would have to pay back to the county. It appears to be a major issue. When there is a disagreement <clears throat> as to the amount of restitution, when there's been a guilty plea, I typically will hold a hearing. I have no issue with that. Smith is 53 and could be facing several more years in prison with this state case, with or without a deal. If uh, uh, convicted as charged, including racketeering, the sentencing guidelines will be 57 to 95 months. As your honor knows, it is a 20 year felony. And the judge says the trial will be here in person with a jury of Eric Smith's peers, but Glenda, she has not yet set a trial date. Live in Mount Clemens, Jim Kurtzman, 7 Action News. All right, Jim, thank you for keeping us updated.